Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of May 9th through the 15th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel and helping it grow, as well as those who have watched videos and give them thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for that. All right, so you're starting the week off with the Eight of Pentacles, new endeavors, moving forward. You have some ideas of what you want to get going. So, you know, you're heading in the right direction here. You've already made up your mind of what your choice is. And now you're making sure that it happens. So that's beautiful. You know, this could be a pay raise for some of you. New endeavors coming in, new business deals. Maybe you've... Um, come up with some sort of new um, way of doing something and people are starting to notice so they're going to take you under their wing and give you an extra helping hand to keep moving forward. Maybe you're taking a, a few courses in something that you like to do. You know, There's plenty of talent here. People realize that. They can see it in you. You know, they're happy to work with you because of all the knowledge that you have to offer. You know, this is a newfound standard of living for yourself. You're flying quite high. You're independent. You're motivated to make changes in your life and, and succeed. So you're on the, you know, the upswing of all your endeavors, which is beautiful. You know, you're just not sitting around anymore. You've already made up your mind of what you want to do. And this could be in a job as well. That you're, uh, you know, starting this new beginning. It's like beginner's luck. You're in the right place at the right time. You know, if you're a student, then this is you also taking the right course for yourself at this time. Or you already know what you want to do. And maybe somebody's helping you to keep moving forward. And the Queen of Rods. So there you go. You know, you're very talented. You're motivated. You know, you have that um, extra vigor this week to get things going in the right direction. So you're not just sitting around on your lulls. You know what you want to do. You know where you want to go. And you have the fire beneath you to make sure that you keep this momentum up. And the Four of Cups. So there you go. You know, you're sitting there wondering what you're going to do, what your next move is going to be. You have a lot. You realize that as well. You're not in lack of anything. But you're wondering, do I want to keep pursuing what I'm doing or do I want to change course here? So you're just sort of contemplating on your next move going forward. So... You're taking that little bit of extra time to think things through before you, you know, change direction. And the Nine of Swords. So there you go. You know, you're all up in your head. And this could be you needlessly worrying as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be something fatal. It might be you're just overthinking something. You know, you might have said a few things to different people and then you realize that mm, maybe I shouldn't have quite said it like that but you weren't meaning anything malicious or bad with it and you know so you're all up in your head maybe losing a few hours sleep here and there over that but you'll calm down and you'll get your much needed rest here so that you can keep going all right and the five of pentacles so definitely you know stressing a little bit maybe there was an unexpected bill come in that you weren't quite ready for or just literally unexpected and now it's uh you know or maybe a bill came in that not only was not ex expected but it was a little bit more than what you had anticipated so maybe you knew it was coming you just didn't think you had to pay that much sort of thing so it sets you back a little bit this could also be you that Maybe you weren't feeling well and, you know, didn't go into work for a few days. So you received your check and it wasn't, you know, quite up to power. So now you're sort of having a little bit of 
you know, regrets, a little bit of financial loss, but you will recoup it and keep going because, you know, that's just the way you go. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. Making sure that you have all your comforts in life, moving forward, you're quite determined. You know, you're finding really good investments for yourself, good deals if you're out shopping. You know, you're finding that you're spending less because of the good product and what you're purchasing is a little bit cheaper than what you expected. So you're in a win-win situation. And the hangman, so that's okay. You know, you felt sort of stuck where you were for a while or what you're doing. But this is the week that you get that little bit of extra oof because you've taken time out to look at both sides. You know, where you were stuck, you're not going to be anymore. So you could just move forward with a little more ease going into the future. And the Ace of Swords, so there you are. You know, you felt you were feeling a little bit stumped here over something. You know, whether that was your new job or, you know, people talking to you, maybe they give you that little extra um, input that helped you clear your mind so that you know that you're on the right path because you're you're going forward here. And the death card. So yeah, you definitely learned what was holding you back, what you put a lot of effort into. You know, sometimes you spend a little bit of time looking back at the past, you know, and the different people and the things that you've gone through, but you've realized that it's okay because you realize what you're no longer willing to deal with and what you need to do to move forward. So you're moving forward for sure. You know, you're motivated to changing things. You know, you're glad of your past because it's taught you well and where you want to go and what you no longer will accept in your f future. So that's beautiful. And the chariot. So there you go. You're off and moving in a really good way. You've decided you're healing yourself. You know, if this was a relationship or just a letdown in your life to do with, you know, friends or family or, but you're moving forward. You know, the chariot is a moving, you know, you're taking a trip somewhere for some of you, but you've reached that pivotal point in your life now that you want to have more and what you know you need to do to get it. So you're making that assumption as well for yourself. You know, you're not holding yourself back anymore and you're not letting other people master your future. That You're taking the reins yourself and you're, you know, knowing that you're no longer going to get sidetracked by different things in your life and you're going to get going forward because you have a vision and the six of cups so most definitely a little bit of time looking back fondly it's not bad you know maybe you had a insight on something and and this is the week that you get that revelation of oh so that's why they said what they did or that's why you know it happened that way sort of thing so it's giving you clarity as well And the Six of Swords. So there you go. On to calmer shores. Now, this, this is in a job. You know, maybe the job that you have right now is not feeding you emotionally. You know, and maybe some of the people at your job just, you don't feel like they have any respect for you or appreciation for what you have on offer. So this might be you taking another job somewhere else, different company, different province different country in some cases and you're you know tired of trying to move forward where you're at and very much considering moving literally physically and this could be you moving to a different area in your surroundings as it is to get a better job but you're definitely moving forward you're tired of you know swimming upstream all the time you want your life to go a little bit smoother for you and you're willing to let things go out of your past in order to keep moving in the future. So that's a very positive movement. 
All right, I am going to pick and shuffle you an angel oracle card. But your cards are positive. You're getting, you know, that new job. You're, you know, getting your bills under control. You're moving forward. You're motivated this week to make things start to happen a little more faster. All right. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Beautiful. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.